Well, you guys saw me make a huge mess out of that one field trying to get the plastic up because it was so full of weeds. So today we're going to spray it and kill all the weeds, make them nice and crispy so that the plastic will come up a little easier. And what I'm going to use to spray it is called Gramoxone. It's a top burner. It burns everything off that's above the ground. So even on larger weeds, it'll burn all the foliage off, turn the stem brown, grass, um, the squash vines that are left out there, it'll burn them up. So it makes them nice and crunchy and brittle so that the guys will have a whole lot easier time getting the plastic up. And also it makes it easier for me to pull the plastic layer through the field. We just got an inch of rain the other day, so it's go time. We gotta get these fields sprayed so we can get this plastic up. Um, we've only got about two weeks left with our workers and they're going back to Mexico. So, um, yeah, we gotta get on the ball. The only good thing about Gramoxone is it takes around, it, it'll kill everything, it'll turn everything brown in 24 hours. You give it three days and pretty much everything is crunchy. So. Um, we should be ready to lift plastic here real soon. This is a uh, surfactant. What it does is kind of like really expensive glorified soap. It, um, you know how soap will beat off of your car, or water beads off your car, but when it's got soap in it, it spreads out, makes the whole thing look wet instead of having little water beads. That's what surfactant does for the chemical makes it spread over the leaves and uh, makes it coat the entire surface instead of beating up on the waxy surface of leaves. Um, that's really important with Gramoxone since it's the top burner. It's not like Roundup. Roundup is taken up through the plant and it kills the plant from within. So you get a little bit of Roundup on a plant and you kill the whole thing. Gramoxone you could take a paintbrush, I wouldn't recommend it because it's not very safe, but just hypothetically, you could take Gramoxone and a paintbrush and paint one leaf on a plant and that leaf would fall off and the rest of the plant would be unharmed. And that's what makes Gramoxone such an excellent chemical for um, vegetable farming. Um, it's gotten a lot of heat from the powers that regulate chemicals in this country over the past few years because it can be dangerous to the operator or the applicator if it's not used properly. But Gramoxone is a great chemical because it, unless you drift it onto something, you're not going to harm any other plants. You can spray Gramoxone, I mean you can write your name with Gramoxone in your yard, you're not going to damage any other spot you can spray row metals in between plants with a hooded sprayer between very sensitive vegetable crops and have no risk of damaging the crop so that's another use of Gramoxone. It's also used to defoliate cotton and uh, defoliate beans before they're picked sometimes but anyway let's get the spraying.
This is an acorn field that we just finished picking. You can see it's got some disease. I kind of quit um, spraying it, looking after it because we're right here at the end of the season. But it um, doesn't matter because it's all picked clean. And so it's not really weedy other than some patches of morning glory. But I'm gonna spray over this stuff with Gramoxon and burn this acorn off. It's not really necessary from a standpoint of being able to get the plastic up, but it makes it a lot easier on these boys to get the plastic picked up when there's not plants sticking through the plastic. So, like right here, this plastic's gonna come up pretty easy. But when they start trying to lift it, it's aggravating for them. They either have to pull up all the plants by hand or they have to tear the plastic. But if I spray it all with your mocks on, then those plants are going to get all crispy and they'll just fall apart when they pick the plastic up. And it'll make it a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster and uh, cheaper for me. So let's get this stuff burned down. everything that has been harvested picked clean sprayed with Gramoxon so that we can get the plastic up um, hopefully by the first of the week we'll be back to lifting plastic we've got maybe three or four acres left of squash left to cut and then we've got to pick it up and we'll be ready to spray the rest but I think it's gonna be about the end of this video so thanks for watching see you next time